Joining me right now, John Chen, the CEO of BlackBerry. This is the very first s smartphone that you've unveiled globally under your watch, John. How did you come up with the square screen? Well, it come up because we talk to the customers and they look at how they uh, use the device and for productivity and looking at the new style apps, looking at the vertical apps and healthcare apps. And we figure that the wider and more one-to-one -one aspect ratio is what everybody will need for achieving more. So that's how we came up with it. What's your goal for this phone, John? How many do you think you'll sell? I, you have to re I'm so sorry. I, you know, my background is very noisy. Emily, can what's you repeat goal, that again, please? What's your goal for the phone? How many do you think you will sell? I am not disclosing it right now. Um, but, uh, you know, we, we expect it to be successful, but the market would tell me that. Um, and we have various different ideas that we could kind of, uh, you know, use this as a mother-daughter type approach. and. So, so we'll, we'll, we're going to have to gauge what the market president responded. So far, it seems to be pretty good. So let's talk about the market. You and I have talked about market share. IDC is saying BlackBerry global shipments are already lower than 1% and that by 2018, market share will be 0.3%. Where do you think it will be? Well, I, uh, I obviously, my job is to make sure that doesn't happen, right? And um, I, I think uh, we have a good plan. We have a good set of portfolios. By the way, uh, despite of everything that we have gone through, uh, this is the third phone that we released this year. And there was also one coming out in a couple of months uh, called the Classic. Um, and so we started out with the Z3 in May, and, uh, and it's now in about 13 countries and seems to be very, you know, received quite well. And then we uh, just announced the uh, Porsche phone. Porsche design phone um, and uh, on September 17, and now uh, we're doing it. Uh, you know, obviously here in Toronto, myself and my colleagues in Dubai and London. So and releasing that phone. So things are, you know, I, I think we could pick up the pace, and uh, we we should be we should be gaining market share as we move forward. Your job, John, is to also make sure the phone doesn't bend. You took a little jab at Apple, saying you challenge us to bend the passport. What do you think of these reports that the iPhone can bend? I've seen it happen in a video. I have no idea. I just read before, um, you know, before I came here this morning and I, I thought it was a little amusing. And you know me, right? I just, uh, I, I, I cracked that as a, uh, in good humor and not, not, not to mean to be uh, mean to anybody. Uh, but, you know, we, uh, on the other hand, you know, our passport is extremely well built. And uh, I would, uh, you know, it's, it's somewhat of a challenge, but you have to do it the same way. You have to put it in your pocket, and then, and then you see whether you're banned or not. I, I would doubt you could happen. Seriously, I mean, does this pass the bend test? Did you guys actually test this for bending? Well, we do a lot of mechanical testing. I don't know whether we particularly do the bending itself, but I could tell you, I mean, we actually here showcase the kind of the five layer of the phone, uh, including the antenna layer, which is a complete um, steel frame around inside the phone. So bending that uh, needs, a little, needs a little effort. What do you think of the new iPhones and the Apple Watch? What do I think? Uh, I, you know, I, I, I really don't know enough. I've been so busy, I don't know enough how to comment on that. Uh, you know, obviously they have their audience, and I'm hoping to go to after my audience, which is about the uh, you know people who strongly needs productivity, and um, this phone should appeal to them. Now, one thing you do know is that the president is also addicted to his BlackBerry. Did you did you send him a passport to test out? Um, I don't think we gave it to the White House yet. Um, I, I don't know. I could be wrong. Um, but I would love to have uh, President Obama uses it. Uh, and, and they all use this. A lot of the head of state uses BlackBerry um, with you know, extra security. And uh, this will continue on. OK, so how about this? BlackBerry shares are up almost 70% since you took over. So investors are counting on you. They seem to believe in you. You've said that BlackBerry will be profitable by March 2016. What's the timeline now? Any likelihood you can do it sooner? 
I, I, I told people that we we're going to be profitable in fiscal year 16, so sometime in 2015 calendar. Uh, and I'm still uh, standing by it, um, you, know, you know, depending on the receptivity of all these phones and the classic coming out in about two months, um, our software releases on the best next month, I'm expecting to see some growth next year. So with that, if, if I could get some growth on the top line, I'll be able to make it profitable sooner. All right, BlackBerry CEO John Chen unveiling the new Passport phone today. Thank you so much, Steph, I'll send it back to you.